before the games, we'd be out there in pregame warm-up right by the edge of the of the wall right there, and he'd come over after he get done kicking, and the first thing I asked him was, how you feel? He goes, Bob, come on. I'm out here with 60 of my best friends. I'm living my dream. He loved it. Mario Danello was one of the lucky ones, and he knew it. When asked how he was doing, Mario would often reply with a simple statement, living the dream. But earlier this year, that dream was cut way too short. We have shocking news coming from the USC football team tonight. The starting kicker, Mario Danello, was found dead today. Just five days after kicking two field goals in the Rose Bowl, USC kicker Mario Danello was gone. His body was found at the bottom of a cliff, just a short walk from where he grew up. For years, the Danello family has made their home in the coastal community of San Pedro. All three of Joe and Emily's boys went to San Pedro High School, and Mario was the youngest. Before going to USC, Mario was an all-city linebacker in high school, but kicking was in his blood. And his father, Joe, a former kicker in the NFL, taught him his art. For me, that was some of the best memories that, that I have. Just uh, he was following in my footsteps just a lot better. And uh, she came along and she'd hold the ball and we'd, uh, I'd watch him kick and I was just at all at the things that he could do that I wished I would have been able to do when I played. And just like with dad, Mario also had a tight bond with his mother, Emily. When he started college, Mario had to leave the house and move close to the campus, but a daily ritual kept mom and son very close. He used to always call about 10 o'clock every night. So that's one thing I miss. How's your day going or something? And of course, I always thought my day was bigger than it was. And he'd always say, oh, mom, don't worry about it. Just think. It's, it's, he just never worried about anything. He always saw the bright side. That's what he did for me. And I always used to think that's what I'm supposed to be doing for him. At USC, Mario had no problems making his name. During his first season as a starter, he set an NC2A record with 83 successful point afters. He had the joy of youth and the life of a college superstar. I think he was living the dream. He was doing something that he wanted to do. It was always in the moment. And being up there playing football is just what he wanted to do. He, he used to say he was so relaxed up there and, and you could just see it when he'd go kick. It was just so smooth. Huh? Mario's death also had a huge impact on the USC football program. Gone is one of the team's most consistent performers and inspirational leaders, though the school has gone to great lengths to keep Danello's memory alive. On the practice field, his number 19 is painted in the end zones. And if you look closely at the team poster, Mario's favorite phrase is right there, looking over the team. For me, seeing it up there, it feels like Somewhere he's up there, he's still with his team. It just feels like his spirit is still with him. And for the countless others that will wear the cardinal and gold for years to come, Mario's spirit has been immortalized in the tunnel outside the team's locker room. And each day, on their way to the practice field, the players pass Mario's picture. And some of Mario's teammates, including his close friend Will Collins, have their own daily ritual when they pass by. I tap that picture every time I go out, every time I, go, I come in. and. Um, I think it's my way of saying, you know, you're not here, but you know you're with me out there. And I also kind of asking him, you know, help me out here, buddy. <laughs> you know, help me have some good snaps today. Take care of me, because, you know, I know he is. You know, he might, he, might, he might screw with me or mess with me a little bit to let me know he's there, but I know he's taking care of me. In the season opener, as the team ran onto the field, number 19 was there leading the way. From the banners in the tunnel to the goalposts he used to split, Mario Danello took over the Coliseum that night. And with the Danello family at midfield, 90,000 fans took part in a pregame ceremony, bringing the stadium to a hush in Mario's honor. But perhaps the most extraordinary tribute came just moments into the contest. After scoring their first touchdown of the year against Idaho, and in a spot where number 19 would enter the game to kick the extra point, the backfield was left empty. And for the duration of the play clock, the team stayed motionless, all in honor of Mario Danello. 
Now, even though the Danello family has suffered a tremendous loss, there is still hope for a bright future. The family is growing, and Mario's spirit still burns in their home and in their hearts, and it always will. That's something Mario used to always say. It's all good. Right now it's okay, but I keep thinking that's one thing we're going to say again, it's all good. <laughs>